uh, President Bush today uh, called for the Iranian government to come clean on its nuclear uh, weapons and its nuclear development program. Would you join him? Of course. I mean, absolutely. I mean, I think, I think the president, again, the NIE <laughs> would have to also say that President Bush gets great credit if this actually happened in 2003. It's obviously the policies he, were, he was pursuing that created a change in course on the part of the Iranian government. So I, I would say the president uh, speaks from a position of strength with regard to Iran. Uh, and in this particular case, I think he's absolutely right. I mean, they should come clean. Then, then you wouldn't have to have these estimates of there's a high degree of confidence that they stop, but only a moderate degree of confidence that they haven't resumed, which leaves all of us in a position of making judgments about this, but not having clear facts. On the immigration, there was a story floating around the internet today that you had said in an interview with a Washington Times reporter that you would have done more in terms of immigration as mayor of New York in terms of turning over as many of the undocumented as possible, but that at that time when you were mayor, the federal immigration officials in New York City didn't have the capacity. I mean, that New York City was more than willing to work as much as possible. There wasn't a lax part of it. It's just the federal immigration officials couldn't handle the overload. Uh, well, it isn't quite that way. It's, it's pretty close. The reality is that the federal immigration officials could only deport, I think the maximum number was about 2,000 a year. We had 400,000 roughly illegal immigrants. And what we wanted them to do, including going back to before I was mayor, was to give priority to the criminals among them. In other words, those illegal immigrants that then were arrested for another crime. Even when you look at the executive order that I continued, that Mayor Co uh, Koch began and Mayor Dinkins also continued, it gives a very, very strong indication that you should turn in illegal immigrants who are even suspected of committing a crime, as well as those who committed a crime. The problem was that the Immigration Service couldn't handle that number. There was a point before I came into office, this is not when I was in there, the point before I came into office when the Immigration Service apparently asked the City of New York not to send them names anymore because there were too many names. I think that was about six to eight months before I came into office. I found out about that at some point in my first year. We changed that, and we did send them the names. But the reality is that they couldn't handle anywhere near the number of names we were sending. That has always led me to the conclusion that the priority should be, if you, if you only have limited positions for deportation, then it should be devoted to the illegal immigrants who committed crime. And maybe that would be a way to proceed as we try to uh, close down illegal immigration, set up a system in which people have to be identified, do a border stat system, have a tamper-proof ID card. Maybe the thing to do if, if the federal government can't deal with those numbers is to concentrate on the worst ones, the ones who actually commit crimes. Mayor, yesterday, Mayor, yesterday you talked about cutting corporate income tax, and I'm curious about, in San Francisco, their minimum wage is about a buck higher than the state level. Would you support increasing the minimum wage for working families? To minimum wage was just increased.